An initiative targeting 50,000 micro and small enterprises to equip them with digital skills has begun in Nairobi. Dubbed Future Digital, the program by Stanbeck Bank Foundation, the Ministry of Trade and Enterprise, Micro and Small Enterprise Authority, as well as Microsoft Kenya and Africa Center for Women ICT, seeks to enhance traders' use of online platforms to enhance sales and access government services. Still in the SME space, Jubilee Alliance General Insurance and the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry have partnered to roll out a range of insurance products for the sector. The deal will see SMEs covered for risks such as property insurance, stock, business income insurance, liability insurance, employee insurance, among others. Elsewhere, Bitco Africa has launched a new soda variant, adding to the range of planet brands. Speaking during the event, trade and industry CAS David Osing said that the government was keen on supporting manufacturing sector through collaborations. Kenya has improved greatly in the ease of doing business uh, categorization globally. We now rank uh, way higher than we did previously, and it's because the, the ministry and the government of Kenya have been very deliberate to try and ensure that all the parties involved in doing business for any investor are doing their jobs and doing them right. And right now we have opportunities. The ESC now with Tanzania frankly opening up uh, to, to Kenyan products and not blocking us anymore. I think the rapport between the two heads of state and the governments are good. Therefore, even Burundi, same thing. I think that's important to say that the whole of East Africa now can become so much more better, one market. By introducing Sharia compliant finance. Finally, Stima Sako has launched four Sharia compliant products to diversify its offerings. The products, the Sako says, are key in its strategy to attract more members and grow its portfolio. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.